Hey guys, uh, we're going to talk some of the symbols for some of the components you're going to commonly see. Uh, there are some I don't have on here at this time that we're going to cover later, such as variable resistors and potentiometers and relays. We'll do a lesson on those later. Uh, most of the components you're going to see in our diagrams we're going to do and stuff you're going to see in the automotive world. Battery. Now on some of my diagrams I'm going to actually draw out a box type battery. If you're looking at a diagram you see these plates, this represents a battery. Positive is always the positive side, negative is always our ground or negative side. We will see bulbs. There's a little filament inside in a glass dome that represents our bulb. We have dual filament bulbs. There's two filaments, so a park light slash brake light. So some vehicles you got one part of the light that's dim, one that's a little brighter for indicator. That'd be a dual filament. So we'd have three total wires going to that component. Resistors are represented by the kind of diagonal back and forth line. Uh, grounds. You guys remember the ground from the previous videos. Now, if you see a number next to the ground, such as G200, in a diagram it tells you where that ground is. So if you're in all data and you want to know, hey, where's the ground for this light bulb, you can say, okay, it's ground 200, and you can go to the component locator or ground locator, it'll tell you where that ground is. We have splices. So if they've attached two wires, we can have a splice. It's indicated by this little dot that's a union where they've joined those together. Again, if it's a location, we'll have S for splice, and it's 501. We also have connectors. So if we have a connector that plugs together, if something snapped together, they'll indicate that with a C. So this connector is C300, and the M and the F mean male part of the connector and female part of the connector. So if you're going through a diagram or an AMI test and it asks you, what is S500? We well, you know S is a splice, so you know it's a splice, and it's splice number 500. As we move across, motor, this is a brush type motor, be an M inside it. The little box is indicated as a brush type motor. Fuse, which is a protection device. Remember, we turn it sideways, it kind of looks like an S. There's an S in fuse. Circuit breaker, again, turn him sideways, he looks like a C. Circuit breaker. Switches, now this is a normally open, so if you say C N O, it means there's doesn't mean no switch, it is a normally open switch, meaning 100% of the time other than when you hit the switch, that switch is open. Normally closed, that means that switch is in a resting position of it's closed. When you hit the switch, it would go open. Coil windings, we'll see these in fuel injectors, uh, starter circuits on the, on the solenoid. This is a coil winding, it's a winding of copper, usually around an iron core, which creates electromagnet. We'll talk electromagnets more later also. Diode. A diode is like a check valve. It allows electricity to flow the direction of the arrow, but will not let it flow backwards. These are diodes. You will see LEDs, and there will be a little a lightning bolt coming out. That then is a light emitting diode, an LED. Capacitors store voltage. Uh, these you got to be careful with. Some of these things get pretty high voltage stored in them. If you're not careful, you can get shocked with these. This down here, in a wiring diagram, if you see a wire comes along, he kind of hops over the other wire. Those two are not connected. Don't let it confuse you when you're tracing a diagram. So this is a wire not connected to the crossing wire. If you're looking at a diagram and there's a component and it's got a complete box around it, that is the complete component. It's not part of it. So like this blower motor, it would show up if it had more to it as a complete box unit. If they are looking at it and only showed part of that component, it would have dashes around it. And then if that component had a ground symbol attached, it means it is case grounded. Starter motors are case grounded because it's grounded through the case of the starter, which is in turn bolted to the engine, which is a ground. They don't have to run a separate ground wire. Uh, I'll probably come up with some quizzes for you guys in our Google Classroom on identifying a lot of these symbols. So make sure you take a look at these symbols. If you're going to make some notes for yourself, or take a picture of this diagram, or find a diagram online, we'll probably be doing a quiz in Google Class on these symbols. I'll see you next time.